Okay, so let's get into how I do my DIY at home Russian manicure. These are my nails before. These first couple of clips are gonna be a little blurry. I don't know why. I am working with a new lens and a new angle, obviously. Let me know down below if you like it. I honestly prefer it this way, but we're starting out by pushing my cuticles back. And then I'm gonna take my e-drill on the lowest setting and my sanding band. And I'm gonna very lightly just buff the top layer of my nail. This is crucial to having all of the products that we're going to use next stick, obviously. And then I'm going to go in with this other um, e-drill nail bit. This one is like in the shape of a teardrop. This one is perfect for your cuticle area. So I'm basically going to use this to remove any excess cuticle before I go in and I soak everything off. Yeah, like I said, these clips are a little blurry, but I'm basically just focusing that nail that nail bit in my cuticle area to separate the cuticle from my nail bed so that I can get a really, really clean manicure. This is really important because if you've seen any clips of Russian manicures online, um, whether it's like on YouTube or TikTok, you have a super, super clean cuticle area. Like they, there's literally no dead skin on your nail whatsoever or around your nail. That is the main focus. And basically the point of getting a Russian manicure is that they really strive to get a super clean nail so next i'm going in with this cuticle remover um, everything that i'm using i got off of amazon this included so it will be linked down below this stuff works like magic so like i said i lifted all of the dead skin off of my nail first before going in with this you let this sit on your nail for like two to four minutes honestly like yeah two to four minutes and then i soak in warm water for another couple of minutes and I literally go in with my cuticle cutters and it takes off everything. It's like my skin is super soft and it literally just removes all of the dead skin so well and so easily. It doesn't hurt at all. Um, you just want to be careful not to obviously cut yourself because, you know, cuticle cutters are typically like really sharp. So I'm just taking my time to really like make sure that I'm removing everything. You wanna hit the sides of your nails as well. Make sure you're like getting into those nooks and crannies, crannies and crevices. Um, and I clip away the top part of my um, cuticle, like just that excess skin that grows onto your nail when your nail starts to grow out. But the cuticle remover, like that little, um, serum whatever you want to call it it really really works like that stuff is magic when i tell you like once i started implementing that into my nail routine i seriously feel like it changed the game it made my nails look so good like it just gives it a very salon style finish and you guys will see at the end but now i'm going in with dehydrator and primer dehydrator first and then i'm going in with nail primer the primer is for the gel products i'm about to use next and then i'm going in with the gelish foundation or base coat whatever you want to call it and i'm doing a single layer of this on all of my nails you guys have seen me do this so many times before I absolutely swear by the gelish kit. I've had the same gelish kit for like two years now. I think I'm about to buy a new one just because it's getting to the point where like I have to shake the bottle <laughs> to get the product out, but I still have more product in there. But I think just to make my life easier, I'm just gonna buy a new one, but I've legit had this one for two years. Um, so yeah, I'm applying a single layer to all of my nails. And then I'm going to cure under my UV lamp for 60 seconds which you guys will see me do next. And then I'm gonna remove my hand from under the lamp and I'm gonna go in with my clear builder gel. I thought I showed the bottle, but honestly, I guess I didn't. So I'm just gonna put a picture up on the screen and it'll also be linked down below in the description box for you guys. But I'm going in with a um, single bead, like a medium sized bead of my clear builder gel. And I always start at the cuticle of my nail and I work my way to the tip of my nail. And I'm going in circular motions to kind of just move the product around. It is um, a little bit more liquidy and the viscosity viscosity of it is a bit runnier so you want to make sure that you cure it 
like almost instantly if you like the way that it looks because it will start to move around on your nails so that's why you saw me go ahead and just flash cure that for 30 seconds and then i moved on to the next nail um, and i just do the same thing some of my nails i went and i did like a second layer because i didn't pick up enough builder gel the first time but if you grab enough the first time you don't have to do two layers of the builder gel you can just do one and it'll be a good thickness so it's really up to how you apply it um but don't be afraid to go back in and do like a second layer if you feel like it's not thick enough because you want it to be thick enough to where when your nails start to grow out your nail is protected underneath but it can still grow out obviously but like it's not going to be too thin you know that's how i've been able to like grow my nails out on my natural nail journey as you guys can see like i don't use tips anymore i don't use fake nails like i don't use soft gel nails like nothing i'm really trying to focus on having naturally healthy nails um i don't even want to like buff them down too much before i do apply product which is why i did like a very quick and like thin buff on my natural nail before i went in with a you know product and stuff like that so yeah i'm on a natural nail journey but i basically did all of my nails cured it for um about 60 seconds for all fingers essentially because you know i went in multiple times and now i'm just wiping off the sticky layer with some alcohol on a little cotton pad and we're gonna go in with some shaping um i absolutely love this part of doing my nails because i feel like this is when they start to look good like everything before this i'm like okay trust the process trust the process trust the process like they look a little crazy um but when i go back in and i shape and i do a little bit more cuticle cleanup this is when they start to look good like if I really wanted to be lazy and just leave them like this and just do top coat, I could because it's just clear. But obviously I wanna go in with a color. Sometimes I go in with designs and stuff like that. So yeah, but this is my favorite part is shaping my nails. I make sure to use a very straight nail file and I make sure to hit all sides. So I'm doing the sides and then I do the top of the nail. And when I'm filing like, the tip of my nail i make sure to keep the nail file like at an angle to where it's like facing towards me if that makes sense so that i get a really straight edge and i feel like if you've filed your nails before or if you've been in a nail salon and you pay attention like you know what i'm talking about i don't really know how to describe it that's why i was trying to show you guys but like you want to keep the nail the nail file like at an angle when you're doing it so that you get like a really straight edge because it can come out rounded even with you using a straight nail file if that makes sense it's the way that you hold it on your nail so yeah going in with a little bit more of a cuticle cleanup just because i'm being a perfectionist at this point and i want it to give russian manicure at home like i literally wanted to give russian manicure like the girlies was all over the internet a couple of weeks ago talking about russian manicures and i was like yeah i've literally been watching these kinds of videos for months now like i'm low-key obsessed with them it's all that pops up on my for you page and stuff so i was like let me give the girls a tutorial on how to do that at home you know um this gel color that i'm using is a dupe for the opi bubble bath that you like if you know you know that's the v gel polish color and this is a seven dollar dupe from amazon and it literally looks exactly the same it is the perfect shade of pink you can layer it this is just the first layer and it's just it looks so good like i love this shade of pink like it's slightly translucent it's not too opaque it's like a baby pink color but it's not like too pink like i don't know exactly how to it's literally a dupe for bubble for bubble bath by opi so if that's one of your favorite gel colors then and you do your own nails then you absolutely need this one and it's literally like 7.99 like there's no it, honestly there should be no question like you should honestly already own it um if you haven't checked out already while i'm literally doing this voiceover then like what are you doing you know <laughs> so i cured that for 60 seconds that's what the first layer looks like i'm gonna go in with the second layer my middle finger on this hand is a little bit shorter than the rest of my nails because it broke and yeah i had to salvage it so it is a little bit shorter but it's okay it's gonna grow out and then i'm gonna even them all out 
but my nails look so good oh my gosh the second layer was like perfection like this was just so satisfying i was like taking my time like i didn't even speed this part up like i literally was taking my time i was making sure not to get any gel on my skin on my cuticles like i literally wanted it to look so clean and perfected and it does i ate that okay another 60 seconds under the lamp and now i'm going in with the top coat from the gelish kit favorite top coat ever it just sparkles and shines so nice um and i only do a single layer of this because that's all that you need make sure you cap your edges um and then i'm gonna go back under the lamp this you have to cure all so quickly because it runs and it will start to spill onto the sides and i didn't want any of it on my cuticles like i said already so i cured after the first two fingers and then i'm gonna do the next two and then i'm gonna do my thumb so I'll just let you guys watch me do that. They literally came out perfect. I'm so pleased with my nails. Every time I do my nails like this, I get so many compliments on them. Definitely gonna make sure to hit them with cuticle oil. Like, it just brings them to life. Look at my super clean, buffed, freshed, like, perfected cuticles. They just look so good. I really ate that. Like, it's really giving at-home Russian manicure. Like, you're not telling me other words. I'm sorry, like they literally look perfect yeah so if you guys enjoyed this tutorial then make sure you leave a comment down below go ahead and let me know what other kinds of nail videos you want to see from me i love you guys so much um don't forget to click that subscribe button and join the tribe we are so close to 150k i love you guys don't forget you are smart you are beautiful and people love you i love you and i can't wait to see you at my next upload bye